hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the photo editing process the main image was like that after editing that you are getting like this so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the file at first if you want to open up in scratch when the open up options and where you saved your photographs just open it up I downloaded this one from deviantart.com for the practice purpose or education purpose you can download this one i'll provide you the link in my video description press ctrl or command j you are getting the copy of this and giving the name edit okay after this we'll go to the filter and camera filter from here i made a preset for you guys and provide you that preset downloading in my description going to the load settings options i load that preset which is the orange one and you're getting the settings like that or image effects like that the before one and after one let's discuss about the effects what i have done or what i have applied over here from here the temperature minus 4 tint minus 15 exposure 0.25 and contrast plus 25 or 52 actually for the contrast ratio you're getting that high tone over there and the highlights minus 84 that's why you're getting the smooth light in a face and here the shadow plus 24 and one thing is that you have that opportunity to change the shadow whites highlights and whatever all the stuffs and whites plus one and blacks minus 17 here the texture 0 and the clarity minus 23 and dehaze plus 8 and vibrance that is minus 2 and the saturation minus 23 from here going to the curves options in this all the curves from here we are getting the curves input value 0 and output value 33 input value 41 output value 43 input value 116 output value 104 input value 199 and output value that is 185 input value in this point 255 and output value 243 that's good going to the detailing options here the sharpening amount that is 24 all the steps are by default from here you're getting the noise reduction normal one that is 34 and the detailing 31 and here the noise reduction for the color one here 34 and the rest of the thing is 0 actually 50 and 50 that's good going to the color mixture from here hue saturation and luminance three things hue which color will be defines with the hue portion saturation the percentage of the color and the luminance intensity of the color from the hue panel you are getting the red 0 orange minus 13 and yellow minus 60 green minus or plus 62 that's why you're getting the aqua type green that's cool and the aqua plus 69 and the blues that is minus 9 the saturation that is 4 and the orange 23 and the yellow minus 26 and the green minus 50 and 45 for the aqua and blues that is 25 and the magenta minus 22 that's good the luminance you are getting the red that is minus 2 and the orange plus 6 and yellow plus 8 and green minus 31 from here aqua plus 50 and the blue plus 15 that's good going to the color grading in the earlier version of the camera filter you are getting uh, this one off but in 13.0.2 you are getting the color grading on that's why you're getting the too much uh, like uh, opportunity to use your photographs more creative from here here the shadow color the concept of the color grading is that you're getting the three types of color in the photo one is shadow color another one mid-tone and another one highlight color we are in the shadow portion from the hue portion we are getting the hue 221 that is the code of the color you are uh, just watching here the build of the color and when you are giving the value over there you are getting the color from this build and the saturation percentage of the color for that reason i just used here 18 and here the highlights 51 and the saturation 23 and rest of the thing is okay the optics geometry i didn't use from the effects i use the proscope vignetting that is minus 11 and the rest of the thing is by default 
from here the calibration primary colors setting from here the blue primary only i change it minus 26 that's good and hit the ok button don't worry about that i will provide you the xmp file in my video description you can check it out and download it and don't forget to give the credit line of me when you are using that after that going to the filter and the place embedded options from here uh, we got uh, this one this one is the like a uh, flare light flare and making it flip horizontal and making it fit with the screen that's good okay and after that hit the tick button and then going to the filter and going to the blur option going to the gaussian blur option i'll make it more blur okay and hit okay and going to the blending mode from here going to the screen mode okay i'll adjust with this a little bit yeah that's fine here's the opacity and the fill options if you need you can change it out i'll change it a little bit that's fine and now i'll make the smart object these two layers convert to smart object giving the name edit and save it out at first otherwise it could be crashed or something else here select this layer edit layer going to the filter again and going to the neat collection and color effects pro 4 from here we'll add another effects or filters hit the ok button and from here i'm using the cross processing this one and going to the sub method c and e60 this one and c04 is good for me and here the strength option you can change it up if you want you can just adjust for the moderation okay i'll just make it 41 is good for me and then hit the ok button it could take time couple of seconds and it will provide you the final output so from here we are getting uh, this one is too much highlighted so we'll go to again into the camera filter and i'll make the highlight down a little bit and hit ok so after that you're getting the before and after one huge change you are getting the modern moody tone which is really good and this is the trend if you want to follow this trend you have to follow my tutorials this way so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm asmr signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye